Hey guys, this is Luigi Man 311 and welcome back to more Pokemon Black. In the last part, we made it here into the Elite Four, and I seem to say that a lot, we made it here. It seems like a very popular phrase in my videos. But anyway, last time we uh, beat Elite Four Marshall, the very first one. And in this part, we're going to be taking on Grimsley, the dark type leader. So, Grimsley actually doesn't start off with a dark type. Well, he does, but it's only half dark. He starts off with the Scrafty, so I recommend you put your flying type in front just for the first Pokemon. Then the rest of the Pokemon, uh, I recommend you use your fighting type. Which is why we're going to start off with Angry Bird and then switch into Chuck Norris after. So, that should be good. So, uh, we're just going up a uh, red carpet. We're going to the Emmys, we're going up the red carpet. <laughs> and up the stairs. And the door closes. Some torches go off. Is this piano behind him? Well, doesn't say we can't click on it. Alright. Well now here is Grimsley, the second Elite Four member. You know, the second Elite Four member that we're fighting. Because you could do them in order if you want to, but what I like about this game is that you can, uh, that you can uh, do them in any order. That's what she said. But never mind that. <laughs> so let's start off by doing a fly. See how much damage this takes it out. So I, I don't know if that would be the correct term. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and that almost knocked it out. And the crunch shouldn't be too much to us. So it did a good chunk, but not, not enough to... Uh, Knock us out. He's going in for a full restore, so we're just going in for another fly to keep doing that. So he waste his two full restores on his weakest. I believe this is his weakest. I'm not positive, though. He has a... a like, most of the Elite Four members have him around the 48 to 46 is. Oh, 48 to 50. And a sand attack. I don't know why he still has sand attack on level 48 to crafty, but he does. So, there we go. So, he, he used his last full restore, and we're flying up high. <laughs> Hopefully, this can hit. And it avoided it because of freaking sand attack. Thank you very much. Stupid Scrafty. Let's fly up high, and hopefully this can hit this time. There we go. Ooh, and that knocked it out this time, because he got a critical. And down goes the Scrafty. So, now his... Next Pokemon is Crookedile, which you don't have to use your Dark type yet. I actually forgot about this Crookedile. You can set it in Water or Grass type. So I'm going to set it Derps a lot here and see how much damage we can get using him. But if you wanted to, you could use your Fighting type because then it would be four times effective because of him being Dark and Ground type, which is weak to uh, fighting. Can't, I can't get any of these words up. Going for a surf. And. Ooh! Almost knocked it out. Going for an Aqua Tail. And this will knock it out. Darn it. Wish I still had Aqua Jet on the a lot. Uh, let's go into. Jumpers, I guess. going for a brick break here, and this should knock us out either way, because we have the sturdy ability. But it did do a good chunk of damage, so that's not good. <laughs> Alright, down goes the crocodile. I'm not really tired. The reason for that is that, uh, well, I guess I could explain. Why not? I'll explain. Yesterday, I uh, slept in until like 12, yeah, actually 12 o'clock. And, uh, it's crazy. I, like, looked at the clock and oh, crap. So, that wasn't good. <laughs> I slept until 12, and then at, I ended up, uh, not being able to go to sleep, uh, that night. Because, um, just because I had woken up at 12, so I was like, please. And now I'm really tired. Because I'm all out of order. So, not good. Wasn't enough sleep. So, I don't know why he's using Aerial Laser on the ground type. So that just takes too long, I'm sorry. There we go. 
And down goes the life her. I don't even think we're really using Chuck for this. For this. Next is his Bisharp. I don't know what that Pokemon is. That's what it is. Let's go in and use a Max Potion on uh, Chuck Norris. And he's going in for an Aerial Ace. We should survive this. So it's not going for a little bit of a da damage there. To uh, see how much we could get him before we threw in Chuck. And uh, let's go for Karate Chop now, I guess. See how much this knocks out. Ooh, almost. So Aerial Ace. Ooh, this better not take us out. Yes, it didn't. And let's go for the Brick Break here. And this should knock out Fish Sharp, which will finish off Elite Four member Grimsley. So that is it for Grimsley. We've had it with you. We're done with you now. And what is he trying to learn? Quick Guard. What does Quick Guard do? Let's read the description. The user protects itself and allies from priority moves. If used in succession, its chance its chance of failing rises. What? <laughs> no, I think I'll pass. So we gave up on a Quick Guard since I had no idea what that was. Alright, well, he's got a lot of ending dialogue, and we get 6,000 bucks from him. Thank you very much, Grimsley. And it looks like we are done going on the red carpet. We are done with the Emmys. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> so let's just leave. <laughs> I crack myself up. Alright, so anyway. Next time, uh, I guess we could... S you know what? How about you guys vote? Vote in the comments below. Uh, which Elite Four member... Uh, we, uh, we should fight. We could fight the Ghost-type leader right here. Or we could fight the uh, Psychic-type leader here. But if you guys take too long to vote, I'm just gonna fight whichever one I want to. So, <laughs> on that note, I'm Luigi Man 301 Adios, everybody. Have a great day.